Hi, I'm Mark Durnford from createfit.com in association with Zone 3 Wetsuits. We're going to take you through some clips here to prepare you for your open water swimming triathlon coming up soon. Often open water triathlons will start with an in-water begin to the race. In order to achieve an effective start to your race, stay horizontal on the surface with your head lifted to keep your breathing going. Perform a sculling action with the hands with an, a gentle front crawl kick with the legs. As soon as you get the command to go, head down, big pull, big kick, and swim. When sighting, take a brief glance ahead before turning to the side and taking your breath. Albeit necessary, aim to limit the lift of the head as this will cause inefficiency in the front crawl stroke. Whilst approaching the buoy, use your sighting skills to judge how far away this will be. As soon as you get to it, use the arm that's closest to it in order to stay reached out in front before performing a single arm front crawl with the opposite arm. Take a tight turn around the buoy before swimming off. Front crawl turns in open water swimming scenarios are incredibly rare. Should you need to use them, this is how you would perform it. But for more information on front crawl turning and the technique involved, see the rest of our front crawl clips. You may prefer to take the option of touch turning. For some people, this will be a far safer and quicker, more effective option. Drafting can be created by swimming alongside another swimmer. Draw alongside with your shoulders being close to their hips, close to that swimmer without getting in their way in order to take advantage of an eddy current tow that's created from them. Sometimes throughout your open water swim, you may experience your water coming into your goggles or you need to demist the goggles. In order to do this as efficiently and effectively as you can, simply turn onto your back, perform a backstroke kick, lay the head back whilst you're clearing your goggles. Once replaced, roll back onto your front, straight back into front crawl. As soon as you're out of the water, remove your goggles so you can have a better view as to where you're going. And then holding onto the hat, pull it over your head so you can take your goggles and your hat off whilst running to T1. Continuing with your run to T1, undo the Velcro at the top of your zip, grab your lanyard and either pull it upward or downward, whichever design your suit may have. Once the zip has been undone and you're continuing your run to T1, grab a shoulder and pull the arm through. Once you've completed this on one side, perform exactly the same on the other. Pull the top half of your suit down to your waist so as not to restrict your running until you get to T1. Once you've arrived at your bike, pull the rest of the suit all the way down to your ankles and then stand on each leg of the suit and pull your leg out away from it. From all of us here at CreateFit and Zone 3, we hope these clips have helped and have a great swim.